Chief's uh, mayors are up here with us, and we cordially like to uh, tell you how much we appreciate you being here for the uh, the annual show here. It's been a while since we've had a boat show, and uh, you can tell by the crowd. So it's a pleasure for me to be the MC today. My name is uh, Terry Fife. I'm from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and my wife Bobby's here with me, and we're just proud and happy to be part of this group. So uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to start off by recognizing the two founders of this organization, Bob Fuller, who's sitting up here behind me, and Paul Merriman here, who's on my right. These are the uh, these are the founding wheels and the founding teals on the club. So this is our 26th year, and. Uh, it's uh, become a great show. It's one of the more popular shows around the country, and it's a, just a great place to be, and we really appreciate all your effort and everything. I was looking for Bob here. I wanted to tell you, Bob, Bob's right here. Here's Bob over here. Bob is also a, uh, not only is he the chairman of this, but he's also a judge. He's been on the car circuit, judged a lot of car shows. And Paul, likewise, has been involved in the boat shows, and he's also a judge. So we have two experienced pe people here that are working with us. So appreciate your uh, all your years of support and all that. How about a big round for Bob and Paul? Uh, since our last show, believe it or not, we've lost quite a few people. We lost uh, one of our restorers named Tony Brown, and uh, we lost uh, Christy Nally. Christy was the uh, famous mermaid each year at the boat show check-in station. You've probably seen her wearing her, her cute little costume. Uh, we will be uh, sorely missing her, and our condolences go out to uh, her family on her here. So. Anyway, at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Tom Collier. Tom's the board chairman. Here he is. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. And I'd like to uh, I'd like to start out with introducing the uh, board of directors of Teal's and Wheels. Without them, this show wouldn't heart, wouldn't uh, wouldn't happen. Uh, first is Ben Baker. I don't think they're all here, but I'd like to recognize them. Ben Baker, uh, Dennis Stetchel, uh Richard Dennis here. Uh, he's up to keep working. Richard Fawcett, uh, Tommy Hammond is one of our directors, uh, Brandon Mason, Ozzy Azari, uh, Dave Persons, I did see him here today, raise your hand. And uh, Lindy Robinson, Lindy, there he is, Lindy, thank you. Uh, Gary Garnett's back here, I saw him. Thank you, Gary. Uh, Jim Sweeney, we've got Evan Tim, Ev Timmons, uh, Nat Kimberling, uh, Grady Owen, and our, uh, our advisory uh, director and very special guest anyway, uh, Mayor Tom from Tigra. I'd also uh, like to acknowledge a uh, very special employee at Kills and Wheels, Ida Wilcox. I saw her walk through here a minute ago. Uh, this little girl, I had to come out here to let people see you. I kind of tease her all the time, but you get to talk to her on the phone, she's got this e-sexist brawl. And she sounds kind of like a Rita Wack McIntyre, but if you need, you know, she's been super. We've talked about going to have to do something, and she's got it done before we can say it again. So, Ida, thank you very much. I'd also uh, like to acknowledge the uh, two communities that really support us. Uh, the city of Nassau Bay, we've got Mayor Bob Waters here. Bob, say hello to everybody. And again, the city of Seabrook. I mean, they've been a major sponsor, major supporter of this thing for a long time, for a long time. And Tom, um, you know, I can't thank you enough for everything you do for us. Um, And uh, last but certainly not least, our host, Lakewood Yacht Club, I'd like to introduce the uh, 2022 flag officers, our Commodore, uh, Gary Romford, Gary Lee. 
another Seabrook local, our Vice Commodore, Paul Benfey. And Rear Commodore Dwight Bankston. Also like to thank the general manager Kelly Yost. Kelly uh, and his crew here at Lakewood really uh, really worked hard to make this thing special. So thank you guys. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Paul Merriman. And uh, we've already met him. We've already been, he's already been introduced. Paul is the one that's responsible for the. Uh, the kills part of the kills and wheels, and he continues to be a uh, great contributor to our board. So, Paul, thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. Well, it's great to be here. Boy, I think it's really great to have all you guys here. Thanks for coming back. Be with. I'd like to take a minute to uh, introduce and bring to the, the microphone uh, Lindy Robinson. Uh, Lindy is on the board of directors of the Kills and Wheels uh, Corporation here. He's also a member of the International Board of the Antique and Classic Boat Society. Uh, Lindy? Thanks, Paul. Uh, I want to uh, welcome you all here today. I want to thank, I want to thank all of the... Okay, closer, closer. I want to thank all of the boat exhibitors that, that brought these beautiful boats here to, to show this weekend. We really appreciate the effort it takes to, uh, to get these beautiful boats here. Uh, before we proceed with the awards for this year, we have a bit of unfinished business from last year. Uh, last year, the Century Boat Club, or Century Boats, were our mark, one of our mark boats last year. They intended to present an award at the show last year, but it did not materialize. And they have sent us that award and asked, it, asked us to present it here today. So... Century Boat Club wants you to have this Century Boat Award for for all your support of and uh, your your interest in Century Boats and all of your sponsorship of, of Century the Century Boat Club. So you're very welcome. Uh, and, and with that, I'll hand the microphone back over to Paul. Gee, that was, that was quite a surprise. I certainly did not expect that, but I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks to the group here and to the Century Book Club and the organization. I've been a member of them almost since they started uh, many years ago. And I have lost count of the number of uh, Century Boats that I've owned and all restored over the past, gee, 50 years. <laughs> one, of, one of the guys that has probably the hardest job in this entire event is, is our master judge. Chief judge that handles all the judges of the boats here. Now let me tell you, I've worked on this group for, for a long time and I've been to boat shows all over the country where you where you have to go in and judge some of these boats and it, it gets tough because there's a lot of good floating material out there. But this time I'll introduce Clay Thompson. Well thanks, uh, I'm glad you guys are here. As chief judge, I'm responsible to uh, get the tallies of the points all scored for your boats. You've brought some beautiful boats, you've worked on them, you've polished them, shined them. It's a lot of work to get them here. Some of you guys traveled a long way. But it's all on me. I have a, uh, a nice group of volunteers. They're uh, well, uh, well versed in uh, judging and looking at all the different brands of boats. 
and uh, I think we've got everything told, and I know that's why you're here, so we're going to proceed with the uh, trophies in just a second. Thank you. Thanks, Clay. Job well done. be with us. We've got today the president of the Antique and Classic Boat Society is here. Bob? Th thank you, Paul, and thank you, everybody. Uh, a special thank you to you, Paul, and to you, Bob. Paul twisted my arm about 10 years ago and said, man, you just gotta come down here. It's amazing. And <clears throat> Excuse me, other than the ones that everybody missed because of COVID, I haven't missed one since then, and, and I appreciate it. And I tell everybody that this is one of the finest boat shows in the country. It really is. So, real quick, thank you from the Antique and Classic Boat Society. We've got several directors here today Dave Wartner, Lindy Robinson, Terry Feist, and immediate past president Tim Bush. So, Tim. Tim was one of the most fortunate presidents we ever had in the ACBS. For two years, he got to go to three boat shows because of COVID. But the, the, our comeback boat show last year for Tim and I was Keels and Wheels, and you could have filled the pool a thousand times with all the water we got. But with that, Paul, I appreciate it. Bob, thank you very much. From, from the boating world, uh, what an exciting opportunity for us. Thank you. That's our ECBS president, Rob Wise. We're really proud of him. He's been a big supporter of the entire ACBS organization. He's been a big supporter of our event since the very beginning. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got uh, several, several guests that, uh, that serve as, as, as VIP judges but today. They helped out the regular judging team. Uh, Tim Bush being one of them, past president of ACBS. Ron Schultz is here. Marty Paletto came all the way from California. He's the guy that puts on this wonderful show out in Lake Tahoe every year. So boy, if you're ever in that part of the country around August, be sure you go to Lake Tahoe to see his event. It's unbelievable. That's, that's kind of a high rent district out there, and the, and the boats correspond to the high rent. Debbie Jordan, Don Plutner, got here. Eddie, his wife, I think, is here. <laughs> Great Bull. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. Wheaton. That's great. Anyway, that's just some of the, the, the dignitaries that have come a long way to join our band here today. I think after that, now we'll go ahead and start and hand out some of these awards that you guys have earned so well. Let's see if this microphone works. Yeah, please do. All right, for the for the judging today and for the awards that'll be handed out, we're going to start with the classification of antique runabout. First place is Robert Jackson from Medill, Oklahoma. He's got a 1940 Colt Custom Racer. You got to take a look at this coat. It's down here, right on the sidewalk. This is built in 1940. Got a Ford V8 engine in it. It's got an original set of heads on it that most people have never seen. So go by there and take a look at it. Beautiful little boat. Congratulations! Great boat. Our second classification today is the antique sale. Well, if we start with the oldest and work forward. So. First place category, antique sale, is Larry Black from Llano, Texas, for the 1931 Hershaw, Silver Hill. We know he's here, we see quite a bit of him. 
He was down there working on that boat the other day, and, and it's on a trailer, and he was inside the, underneath the, the, the inside of the hull, and somebody stole his ladder, and he was calling everybody he knew on the phone to, to bring him a ladder, and he didn't know anyone was here, so we had to rescue him. Congratulations, Larry. Next category is the classic cruiser. You guys have had an opportunity to view these boats and they'll be afford most of them, I believe. The owners have been very gracious over the past few years to let tourists go in and take a look at their boats. First place trophy for classic cruiser goes for Richard Mitchell from Montgomery, Texas from a 1978 earth truck called Liberty Bell. Rick, Rick is right here behind you. He's coming up front here. you got to go by and look at this boat. It's absolutely beautiful. It's been in the show for many years, and it's uh, always a big winner here. Thank you, Richard. The runner-up in this category of plastic cruiser goes to Robert Kimmons from La Fort, Texas. 1957 Fifth Transit Cruiser called Miss Chris. It's another really nice boat, a real popular boat. It's been here for years. He got a nice sign down there that tells uh, all the owners of it, a, quite a bit of history behind it. If he's not here, we'll uh, just pass it on to him. We don't see him. Oh, here he is right here. Okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Robert. That is a beautiful boat. Next category we judged was classic glass. This is a category we added to uh, to our roster about 25 years ago when we started because plastic fiberglass boats were becoming so popular, we decided we'd allow them into the show. We actually started uh, entering and judging fiberglass boats uh, before any of the other national shows did. But our classic glass award first place goes to Steve McHugh, yeah. Fort Worth, Texas, from a 1966 century guy's gal. This little beautiful boat sitting down there uh, on the uh, sidewalk down on the other side of the show there. It's sitting on a trailer. It's really pretty. you got to stop by and look at it. in the classic glass category is James Donovan from Carrollton, Texas, yeah. 1972 Chris Craft XK22 Charisma. These are pretty rare boats. Everybody's kind of looking for one and they're the boats that are selling now. These uh, these old fiberglass boats seem to be what everybody's looking for. So they're a really neat boat. Alright, we're both going to move in now to the classic outboard category. We're going to take the smaller ones first, the 14 foot and under. First place goes to Donald Speck from Shawnee, Oklahoma. With his General Marine Speedliner. I can see him here so we uh, Oh, here, here he is, coming up here. He's making his way up here. While he's working his way up here, I'll make a comment on uh, Paul's award here, this Century Boat Award. It's well deserved, and I gotta tell you, Paul Merriman is the most knowledgeable guy out there on Century Boats. He's always a uh, part of our judging crew and the big international shows and everything. Thank you, Don. Congratulations. Runner-up in the classic outboard, 14 foot and under, goes to Jerry Salty, Baytown, Texas, 
1956 yellow jacket. Oh, Dad's 56. It's another really neat boat. I uh, really appreciate you bringing it here. It's always a big hit. Good looking boat. Thank you. Runner up in the classic outboard. No. I'm sorry. Okay. Classic outboard. 15 feet and over. First place goes to Ray Balsam from Houston, Texas. 1964 Helton. Class of 64. Are you here? Give us a signal if you're here. So we... Okay. Oh, we got you. Okay. We this is certainly uh, not Ray's first trip to the podium to pick up a prize. You got a beautiful boat. feet and over goes to Alice Manor from Seabrook, Texas, from 1931 Lyman, Miss Alice. Here, get your award right here. There we go. <laughs> is classic runabouts. Boy, this is, this is where the boats get really fancy when they get into categories like this. First place in the classic runabout is Dan Deal from Jinx, Oklahoma with an outstanding 1959 Riva Arison called Bella Vida. Come on up here, Dan. We know you're here somewhere. There you are. I, I'm... I might add that uh, this is an owner restored boat. Dan did all that work himself. It's a beautiful boat. Big hit here at the show. Congratulations, Dan. 50, 50. If you get an opportunity as soon as this event's over, you ought to walk out and if you haven't seen it, you need to go down and take a look at it. It's stunning. It's right here on the front row, just below the podium here. Runner up in this category for classic runabout is Richard Levy from Lake City, Texas. He's got a 1949 racing runabout called Robin. Here he is right here coming up for the back. Congratulations to you. Thank you for bringing the boat. Next category on the agenda is Classic Sales. Owner Scott Tuma from Kima, Texas, a 1974 Lujan called Fast Furniture. There he is right here. Had a chance to look at that. Beautiful woodwork on it. Good looking boat.
All right, we're moving into classic utility. 19 feet and under. First place goes to Harvey Cutner from Lake Charles, Louisiana. A 1952 Chris Pratt called Yesterday. Oh, here he is right here. Snuck up behind us. Runner-up for Classic Utility, 19 feet and under. Craig Stanfield from Houston, Texas. A 1967 Century Arabian called El Jiffy. boats in the show this year. Some really good looking boats. So. Runner up in the category of classic utility 20 feet and over is Wendy Robinson from Seabrook, Texas. A 1959 Chris Craft Sportsman, class of 59. Congratulations to, uh, to Lindy, that's a big honor. He's actually towed this boat all over the country. He was up in uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho at the International Show. He just returned from uh, Florida at the uh, Sunnyland Show, so he's getting some miles out of that boat. Really appreciate it. Next category, Contemporary Outboard. First place, Robert Black from Houston, Texas, a 2005 aristocrat, aquaholic. Is Robert here? I'm not sure if he's here. Is he here? He was here. We've seen him earlier, but I don't see him right now. You want to come and get it, Dave? You want? You want? Yeah, we'll have to pass that award on to who's not here now. Next category, Contemporary Runabout. Robert Jackson from the Bill, Oklahoma. The 1994 Saint called Hoxie. This is a uh, triple cockpit boat down there along the sidewalk. Uh, just a stunning boat. It's a contemporary. It's a, what we call a contemporary boat patterned off an old boat, but it's all new. And uh, a guy by the name of Hugh Saint in Florida actually built this boat. He built several boats. He was a retired Air Force colonel, got out of the Air Force and went to wood boat business, and he built that boat. So quite a tribute to him. Next category, contemporary runabout. First uh, runner-up. Yeah, okay, runner-up for contemporary runabout. Mike Reel from Highland Village, Texas, with the 2011 Hackercraft called Gentleman's Racer. Category, Contemporary Sale. Goes to Bruce Snyder from Sugarland, Texas for the 2015 Irwin called Sea Jewel. First place. Next 
category, we go into the high-powered race boat. First place in the race boat category goes to Pete Sykes from Ketchum, Oklahoma. The 1968 Campbell Hall called Renegade. He's right here. That's an incredible boat. I've been down there and looked at it uh, several different times. It's a twin-engine boat. It was found in a very derelict stage. Uh, he got it uh, by agreeing to restore it. So he did all the work. They took it home. They restored it. They're twin engine. They're coupled together. It's got big block Chevys in it. It's really a high-speed boat. So congratulations. The runner-up in the category of race boat is Malcolm Young from Montgomery, Texas, with a 1990 Eliminator hole called Buzz Off. is right here. Got a matching shirt and everything. That's pretty neat. future wood boat owners in the swimming pool kind of look around out here this is our uh, our young kids are going to grow up and they're all going to own wood boats someday so that's why we didn't run them off okay we're uh, we're done with the class awards what we're going to do now is i'm going to talk a little bit about uh chris Crab. the chris Crab corporation is celebrating a hundred years of uh, production they started in 1922 their uh, headquarters was in Elginac, Michigan, and over the course of a hundred years, they have actually built more than a hundred thousand wood boats. It's just an incredible record. Everybody that sees a wood boat thinks it's a curse craft, and so all the major shows this year are actually uh, uh, having a curse craft event. And we're happy to have the uh, curse craft antique boat club president here, Greg uh, Lieberding. Oh, right here next to me and also we're very privileged to have a member of the uh, Smith family. Chris Craft was founded by Chris Smith and it was a family owned business. He had six sons, all the sons grew up in the business and they all kept the business going. We're happy to have uh, Chris Youngblood here who's a personal friend of mine, he's from Orlando, Florida. Come on up here Chris. Uh, Chris is Chris's mother was Sally Youngblood, and Sally was the daughter of Owen Smith, which is one of the, the sons. So uh, Chris uh, remembers uh, early growing up in the plant in Algonac. His first job was uh, was placing up the floor and then uh, picking all the screws up, and he had to put them back in cans and, uh, and by length and that sort of stuff. So he did that from from uh, early on. He's got a uh, great family background. I've had the privilege of meeting most of the Smith family. I've been a Chris Craft owner for many years. So anyway, Chris, we're glad to have you here. And, uh, and uh, Chris and uh, Greg are going to present the uh, the, steam, the the Stewardship Award, which they have here. And they're going to present this award to uh, class of 59, a 1959 20-foot 24 foot sportsman. This is a twin engine boat here. It's owned by Lindy and Lisa Robinson right here. Quite an honor to receive this award. And uh, I'm going to ask uh, either one of you want to say anything. Oh, 
just a real special award. So, uh, and all the all the shows now are uh, going to do something special for uh, Chris Craft. The next big event that's coming up is a Tahoe show, and that's going to be our Mark class boat out there. We're going to have a lot of Chris Craft boats at Tahoe. So, if your schedule permits and you can get out there, you want to be sure to come out this year. So. Okay, now we're going to do uh, the Corinthian Awards, and then we're going to work our way into the, the best of the show here. So Paul's back on the mic, and he's going to uh, present the Corinthian Awards. We've given away Corinthian Awards at our show that's almost since the beginning. And these are these awards that, that, that are sort of set aside. A lot of guys bring, bring boats. Uh, that we don't have a real category for. There's no specific place to put them in the ACBS list of uh, designated boats. But we decided to, the people that, that brought, put through the trouble to break these very special boats, that they deserve a prize. Our first Corinthian award today goes to Jim Harton from Ava. He, he brought the 1958 80 foot military vessel, the USM class of YP-664. The big, the big gray base post you see over there in the corner. We got the captain here accepting the award, the owner's on the boat, so uh, you want to be sure and stop over there. That's the big navy boat that's over there in the corner. You can see it's got the big merit flag underneath it there. Congratulations, thank you. These guys, these guys have brought this boat to our show for two or three times over the past 10 years. And they're always welcome. You're always welcome on board. They're just the greatest bunch of folks you've ever seen in your life. They'll run you all the way through that thing and tell you about every bunch of all this. It's an interesting tour. Take a minute and go through it. Our second Corinthian award today goes to Drew Garner with his 18-foot tugboat called Little Tug. And here again, this is one of the highly specialized boats, it's just as cute as it could be, but it just didn't have a specific category. <laughs> wait, wait. Seriously, Drew, thank you for bringing it, but it was a real eye catcher. some neighboring cities around here that have helped us throughout the years put on this event. They've been key sponsors, both monetarily and just in time. They've just been a wonderful bunch of people, the entire city's behind it. I'd like to introduce Pair Bob Waters from the little town of Nassau Bay. Bob has an award that he would like to give to one of our fish players. Thanks for being here, Bob. And here's your trophy. And, uh, and we'll call up the owner of this. none other than a boat named Robin. Robin. Chris Craft boat owned by Richard Levy, Lake City, Texas, right here on the on the walk wall here. He's still here? Yeah, here he is, right here. He's right here. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. 
congratulations to you, Richard. It's a really neat award. The next mayoral award will be from, from our own fair season, Seabrook. Mayor Kyle, this award's going to go to Robert Jacobson from Medill, Oklahoma. He's got a 1940 voice and son all with no name. Yeah, this is that little race boat again. I tell you, that's a neat boat. And even the mayor knew it, so he did, he picked the right boat there. We he couldn't have picked a better boat. No, I've I've always been in the speed. And when I saw that uh, flathead V8 sitting in that boat, it, it had to be the choice for me. So so thanks a lot. It's a beautiful boat. Congratulations again. The award is one that I have the privilege of picking out the individual, and it's not necessarily the, the boat, but I've been doing this for the past 25 years. Like I say, it's not necessarily the, the boat that he brought, but it's what he contributes to the overall event. Uh, the recipient this year is a is a guy that has been with us 100% from day one. He'll do anything in the world to help. He'll, he'll move boats, he'll drive boats, he'll park boats, he'll judge boats, he'll do whatever it takes to get it done. And he owns a whole bunch of boats of his own. This year, I have given my personal award to Paul Dumpy, who owns a large flight boat over here called Liberty Bell. miscellaneous awards here we're going to do. We like to ask uh, Rob Lyons and Clay Thompson to come up here. Lindy's going to make a little presentation for your uh, great efforts to be here again. So uh, come on up here. You got to come up in front here, Rob, next to Clay. So, just a little token of appreciation for being here and what it takes to get here and all your efforts. Clay, thanks to you for uh, another incredible job. Well deserved. Congratulations. I want to say it's a pleasure to serve and donate some time for such a great cause. I've been coming here a long time. And it's a, it's a great I want to thank for all of the fun I've had over the years as Bob Clay. Thank you. Thank you, Clay. Okay, we're getting down uh, close to the end here. Uh, we're going to do our uh, Best in Show Awards right now. And uh, this year, Bob uh, decided to, to, to add another boat to this with the advent of fiberglass boats becoming so popular. All, and and uh, Bob decided that we would have a Best in Show um, glass, the Best in Show of glass boat, because fiberglass boats have been around since the 50s now, so they're all part of the, the boat society now. So anyway, we'll start with the uh, the Best in Show of Cruisers. It's a uh, 1978 Bertram owned by Richard Mitchell right here from Montgomery, Texas called Liberty Bell. Come on up here, Richard. <laughs> and the Commodore, the Commodore here is going to, uh, this is Commodore Gary Romer is going to make the presentation to you. Come on up here, Richard. Yeah. Congratulations again. 
Okay. Um, best of show. Best of show for glass is a real surprise. It's a 1976 Century Goldwing Saber, owned by uh, Paul Merriman. Yeah, yeah, well deserved. This is a uh, 1976 Century. It's a Goldwing. It's called a Saber. It was Century's uh, 50th anniversary boat. They made six of them. It's got a gold interior, and uh, Paul's named it uh, uh, Golden Oldie, and Paul actually bought this boat three different times. He sold it twice and bought it back, so he's, uh, it's got a record like you've never, you've never seen. So anyway, congratulations to Paul. Okay, our best in show wood goes to none other than Dan Deal. Dan Deal, one of our own. 1959 Riva Arison, owned by uh, Dan and, and uh, Alicia. They're from Junks, Oklahoma. Alicia's not here with him. I think she went to visit her sister called Bella Vita. This is his uh, third time to win Best in Show here, so we're going to retire him now. You're going to retire, Dan. Did you hear that? Dan, you're going to retire now. Yeah, you can retire now. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. And of course, uh, Paul Duffy presented it. One of those awards that Dwight Bergson uh, presented the other one there. So, okay. So, this kind of brings us down here towards the end. And, uh, geez, I just got a text. Somebody just texted me and said there's a uh, special award that just arrived here at the Yacht Club. Came uh, via the U.S. Uh, Postal Service. And it's uh, here it is right here. It just came. It's a special award. I haven't seen it. And uh, let's see. And it's addressed to uh, Dave Person. Would you please come up here and uh, and receive this special award? Yeah. Here you go. Come on up here. I don't know. We don't even. This is a surprise. We don't know what this is, but it's it's come to him. Here. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, see if you recognize that. <laughs> turn, turn. Okay. All right. These are. I think that's from your uh, some of your close admirers there, uh, Dave. Okay? You can't make this up, huh? Okay, well hey, that's going to wrap up for our award ceremony. We really appreciate everybody being here. Hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this wraps it up for the uh, boat side. The car side is tomorrow. It'll be another big event, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Go around and take a look at all the boats. People like to show them to you, so just uh, have fun, enjoy the rest of the day, and thanks for being here.